down this alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours. Uh, perhaps I'll just call him. Now, if, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. Your wallet and that snazzy briefcase you're carrying. Hand them over, now. I most certainly will not. Do you have any idea who... Oh, jeez, Louise. Why'd you go and do that? Because he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? Now, let's see what's in this fancy case. No cash, it's worthless! Ah! Get his wallet. A suit like this has gotta have something. Alright, alright, let's see. Twenty bucks, a driver's license. Oh, oh man, we done it this time. You know who this is? We just wasted Mayor Murphy! What? The Mayor Murphy? What in the places was he doing up here? Up in Scully Square! A mystery, to be sure. Who said that? Show yourself! The memory den's not accepting new clients right you now. You have murdered a man in cold blood. Justice must be served. It's the Silver Shroud! Let's get out of here! I ain't afraid of the Silver Shroud. You hear me? Come out and I'll do you like I did the mayor. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I... Image Shroud! Ah! No! My work here is done. Or is it? What brought you to Scully Square, Mayor Murphy? A journey that left you dead and Boston leaderless. Why venture? <laughs> Emerge from the shadows, villain! or face the justice of the Silver Shroud! What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud! You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Gal I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the poster. And memorabilia. Here you go. After all these, mm -hmm. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. Come on. I got a better... You are... Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The cost... Here's some calling cards I get. Time to fight! Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode in the Parlor of Mysteries. Jasmine. Chamomile. Pain. Ecstasy. This can only be the den. Of mysteries. Shh. Be still, sweet trout. I removed that scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still suffering. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey m murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. 
in good neighbor. Come you on, dollface. It's right true here. Step oh, away gee, from my. Golly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What? Meat boy. Unless you want to be next. Rumor is you killed Miss Selmy. That true? Selmy? Yeah, I killed the bitch. And her whelp, too. Shouldn't have bothered they barely had two caps between them. You listen to the radio? Someone wants you dead. You threatening me? Are you threatening me? That's your last mistake, asshole. You mess with me, you're <laughs> dead. <laughs> the show. Jerry is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Oh man. What, pals now? Gotta shoot the breeze? Take a walk. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe Buddy, it. I gotta be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered. So, Jerry, me. go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, problem. he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode. Into the oh, robots again. Costume? Hey, no judgments. But ain't that a kid show? Uh, that's all of them. Fat fees, my bots have been sent back to the mechanical hell that spawned them. Yes, my choleric companion. And no, robotic hellspawn they were. But not Fat Fahey's. For he himself presented the facts. Someone else is actually... The master of it all. You're right. But who? Dearest mistress of mysteries, you and I have battled Boston's rogues gallery for years. This... This is someone new. Certainly. But which criminal culprit has the technological know-how to construct such clockwork calamities? I don't... You don't know anything? Yeah, right. But I... I do see. And I'll tell you to... On one condition. By the shadowed streets of Southie, one of the mob bot's heads is still talking. You're darn right I am. I can't feel my legs, cause you shot me up, Coach Shroud. But I still got my kisses.
Shroud. But that malformed murderer was but a moppet compared to the malignancy of the mechanist. Malignant, am I? We ain't the only friends of AJ here. You follow? We ain't the only <coughs> friends hey, of AJ here. Look at the clown. You follow? This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Screw you. Waste the freak. You just made a mistake, pal. Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evil Hancock, doer's whereabouts. he's the mayor around here. Elected by Galaxy. himself. News! Radio! When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mystery of Mayor Murphy. Slowly now, and reveal the yourself. Silver Shroud, fret red. not, old friend. Go on in. It's only me. Mistress of mystery, what brings you to Scully Square on such a foul night? Tracking our dear Mayor Murphy, who is up Silver. to some mischief. The mayor. Looking round the corner. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? Come on. He's in the back room. Make way for paying customers. What a pipe, mate. You're here for Magnolia, better drink up. <clears throat> you there. We need to have a conversation. You got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid the starting rate, like everybody else. If you turn out to be as useful as you claim, then we can talk about a raise. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Or maybe just one more. Might way 
for paying customers. But the if you want to the something, what you wearing that for? I'd like to see what's on tap. Good man. Charlie. Make way for paying customers. If you're wearing that get up then. What posters? Those old timey posters from back in the day. My mate, Kent, puts them up every damn place. I'm looking for someone. Kendra. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house. You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen, mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're about. Save your caps by a logger instead. Here's your money. Where is she? Still going through, is this? She's got a flat outside the neighborhood. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business then. Good luck. I'm telling you, friend, you're searching. God, I love this song. Running from something? Welcome home. Hey. Magnolia can really sing. Only reason I come here. That to get wasted. Huh? Don't have no handouts. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learn. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got you're that? You're finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but they never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You don't. That's part of the risk, right? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Something wrong with your hearing? I just told you I'm not going to negotiate. So, are you in, or should I get back to my drink? Let me think about it. It's not like the meter's running. Take your time. I got plenty. update. No, it wasn't Bobby No-No's who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming to good neighbor. You'll see. 
Galaxy! When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. Come on, dollface. It's right through here. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What the? Polly, you dumb jamoke! What's the big idea? Bringing a dame into our hideout! Into my hideout! Nah, relax, boss. She's alright. Ain't you alright, Wendy? Cindy? Yeah. It's candy. And yeah, of course I'm alright. I'm just a young, dumb girl in love with a handsome, dangerous man. Ah, brother. All right, the skirt can stay, but close that door. Last thing we need is... The Silver Shroud, infiltrating your nefarious lair. Holy cannoli! It's the Nightmare of Night, the Over deceptive there. detective, the dark oh. dick! Paul, oh, you idiot, you were duped! That's no normal dame! Quite right, you custodian of criminality. For I am not Candy, the captivating companion. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have clouded Polly's paltry perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. Sorry, boss! I had no idea! Your mistake is our gain. Holy, is it? Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am it true! Holy, Okay, okay, listen. Whatever you want, Silver Shroud, I'll do it. Just don't kill me, too! Pathetic and predictable when faced with fear, the cocksure culprit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too! Crime fighters? What a laugh! You don't got any idea, do you? Why, the joviality fey? I, the Silver Shroud, have got you dead to rights! Yet you persist in this mindless guffawing. Not the behavior I'd expect of a criminal mastermind. And you're right. Criminal mastermind? Me? Bub, you're as dumb as that get-up. I'm just a pawn in this game, pal. You see? My master, the real master, he's been pulling all the strings. You mean... That's right, mistress. This was all just a big distraction. While we were here having our little jaw session, Sweet. my boss has been at your parlor, stealing back those deeds you took from Mayor Murphy's briefcase. Treacherous toad! You defiled my <laughs> sacred sanctum! <laughs> For that, you will feel my fury. Behold the blade of Bastet! Mistress, no! We needed him alive. That was never going to happen. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy alive. You see, by the shadows. Caused you. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> It'll be a
Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Into the Robot's Den. That's all of them. Fat fahies, my bots, have been sent back to the mechanical hell that spawned them. Yes, my caller companion. And no, robotic hellspawn they were. But not Fat Fahey's. For he himself presented the facts. Someone else is actually... The master of it all. You're right. But who? Dearest mistress of mysteries, you and I have battled Boston's rogues gallery for years. This... This is someone new. Certainly. But which criminal culprit has the technological know-how to construct such clockwork calamities? I don't... Anything? Yeah, right. But I... I do see. And I'll tell you too. On one condition. the shadowed streets of Southie. One of the mob bot's heads is still talking. You darn right I am. I can't feel my legs because you shot me up good shroud. But I still got my kiss of see and, and I'm gonna use it to tell you where the big boss man is. See? And your one condition? You take my head with you? So I can see you take that creep down. Yeah, what did he ever do for me, huh? Okay, so he created me. What they do? Who needs a father who sends his kids out to die? Silver Shroud, I sense truth in this clockwork crook. Shall I? Use your blade of bastard to free the mobot's head from its now destroyed body. Sweet freedom! Thanks, Dollface! Now tell us, who is your creator? The robotic puppet master pulling your twisted wires? Speak, you decapitated electronic evildoer! <laughs> that will spoil all the fun! You gotta see for yourself! Come on, let's be feet to the big warehouse down at Pier 12! Fine, you amoral automaton! We're away! A moonless night in an unguarded skylight. Just what we needed to stealthily infiltrate this warehouse. Yes, and our view from above is advantageous, for the gathering below is unlike any soiree I've ever seen. Robots. Dozens of them, all shapes and sizes, and on the stage, their leader, another robot, no, not a robot, a man in a robot costume. Shh, shut up, you dummies. Us robots got good hearing. You gotta get yourselves caught. Now listen, boss man's about to talk. My robotic children, my glorious creations, we stand tonight at the dawn of a new yes. era. For too long, the human vermin of Boston have destroyed <laughs> this fair city. The flesh is weak, but steel, steel Ooh. is strong. You, my children, will usher in a new age, an age of robots, led by me, your father, the Mechanist. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. 
We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. I toss out the troublemakers. I keep that in mind. Holy moly, the Silver Shroud in the flesh. Oh no, death is coming for me. <laughs> you know who kicked the ghouls out of Diamond City, right? Hey, Hancock, oh, uh, guess what someone done. tells me? Some get costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? However you like. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another. Why the getup? Same reason as you, pal. <laughs> All right, the lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole, and that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holing up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Getting rid of Sinjin helps you too. Some appreciation is in order. I'm doing you the favor, pal. Sinjin's got a powerful hate of brewing. But you deal with Sinjin? I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. That's the war. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the real enemy. When you're ready for that next Look, step. Like to brag. Some very bad people may be coming. It's not safe here. 
<clears throat> I don't know you. Just, just go away. Raider. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. So glad you could all come out and... Hey. If it isn't the boy behind the costume... You've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud. Making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. But now it's time to rip your goddamned heart out! <gasps>
You can't hide forever!
That's it. There we go. Commencing. Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. This area clear. Proceed false. I know what to do with these old zombies. That, that's dumb. Another glory. Did you hear me coming?
Yes? Yeah? Entertainments down the stairs. Running from something? <laughs> Charlie. Welcome Boy, home. we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Like an earthquake, starting to roll. I felt my world shake. That a gun? Sinjin, all clear. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah! Oh! Oh my God! Do it, Shroud! Do it! On my knee! Ah! Tick tock, Shroud. Don't keep oh, me waiting. Oh, it's you. We got oh, business that needs finishing. I told Kent all that here. Here's a Silver Shroud update. Killed. In case you missed it, oh, Kendra's God. reign of terror is over. Oh, God. She won't be. What? Oh, God. What's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Easy. I'm here now. Tell me what happened. It was terrible. A dozen raiders. They just charged in and grabbed Kent. Took him away. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Business that needs finishing. Here's a Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it, Kendra's reign of terror is over. She won't be. What? Oh, God, what's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. Trying to stay on good behavior here. What? Don't what make are you me doing? Do something I'll regret. Ah! 
Sinjin, all clear. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud! It's a trap! Save yourself! Playing games with me, huh? Time's up, asshole. Statue on top of Faneuil Hall. 
Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Oh. What's that? Jackson.
Okay. Just about. I hope it does not rain.
I'll run some diagnostics while you're tinkering. Take your time. What's the angle here? At least it's not raining. Yeah? I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, Centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. My systems are eager to absorb new... forever. The next person that asked me to shag is getting a well-placed kick. If you get my meaning.
Someone there! What? Who's there? Let's play, little human! Oh. Oh. Different noises. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's not overcomplicate this. Just get in there and hit them with everything we've got. If you say so. All right, people. You heard the General. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Looks like they've been nesting. We're gonna have to take out these eggs, or they'll be back before we know it. Lurks like to hold up inside old buildings, so the walls are probably full of them. Sure looks that way. Here's how we're gonna play this. You hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find. The General and I will clear the walls. Yes, sir. Let's do this, General.
What the hell was that? Good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are gonna have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining myolurks or eggs you find. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else is left around this old place. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast.
Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Perfect. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Hi. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really something. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. But nobody's gonna want to move there until the bug infestation is taken care of. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon this to let settlers radio know about freedom. it. Before you know it, day, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back Words the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Please respond if you can. It's midnight here at Radio Freedom. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts.
Stay safe out there. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. What just happened? We gotta find those bastards, now. On your way, soldier. On your way, soldier. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Thank <laughs> you. 
On your way, soldier. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. Scanner's clear. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Secure. On your way, soldier.
Yes? Next person that asked me to shag is getting a well placed kick. If What's you get the angle me. here. Humanity has fallen so since the bombs. Can't wait to get out of this goddamn heat. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. I see how you're looking at me. Not saying I don't like it. Just Most thought folks I are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Sun goes down, crazies come out. So where are we off to next? come out. Been too long since I picked a fight. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, I wonder what does happen there as anything well. poop red. Is what has before it is hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but the preparation Anything I can do? is never you just say the word. I don't mind hoofing it as long as there's some excitement at the end of the road. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Getting dark out. Maybe we should find a place to bed down for the night. We must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Sun goes down, crazies come out. We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse.
Sun goes down, crazies come out. Seems to be growing well. Crops coming in pretty good. Anything I can do? You just say the word. The influx of data is hard to process. Apologies if sometimes I make little sense. I, I have thought a reporter could this. consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Walking around at night isn't the smartest thing to be doing around here. That's Unless one heck of a getup, Lou. Yeah, please, just. I need to be alone right now. 